We have made it to a small island the size of Belgium. And believe it or not, the garbage trucks here, they sing Beethoven while they do their daily pickups. And if you haven't guessed where we are yet, this is where they invented bubble tea. So we just arrived in Taipei, Taiwan. It took us 22 hours to get here, but we're ready to go. We've arrived to Memorial Hall. Um, it looks pretty nice so far. It's huge and super colorful. And there's two big buildings. The Memorial Hall opens at 9 a.m. So it's just before nine. Yes. Uh, and also, no one get pretty busy here, but uh, luckily at uh, 9 a.m. it's not busy at all. So we were a bit worried because we obviously did not time our trip very carefully. Uh, we're here during Chinese New Year. So I was a bit worried it would be either closed or it would be packed with people. But thankfully, it's like super quiet right now. So this is supposed to be one of the main spots where like all the, if there, there's any major gatherings or any, uh, I guess, high profile dignitaries come, this is where they get brought and this is where like, uh, like a main meetup. So the Memorial Hall is a memorial for the president, uh, Chiang Kai-shek, who died in 1975. There's 89 steps up to the top, which represents the age he was when he died. Like you can really see how big the whole area is. That's super clear today too, so that's And just amazing. the bright colors, eh? The orange, the blue. The gardens are super nice. Yeah. It's, awesome. it's starting to get busy though. Yeah. So it's, what time is it? 9.30. And this is the statue of the president, Xiang. They also do the changing of the guard uh, ceremonies here. Right. We are on Yongkang Street. Uh, apparently it's one of the fourth coolest street in the world. I think we're a bit too early this morning because um, everything seems to be closed. We saw the big lineup here. So uh, we thought we'd get in. It's for stuffed pancakes. They're, they're pretty, pretty inexpensive. 30, 40, 50 or 60 um, NTDs. Uh, so we're gonna try them out. Yeah, and it looks like you can have like egg, cheese. Egg. Two. So the lineup is long. Around the corner. However, people are ordering like. 20, six, six yeah. of one kind, five of one kind, so it's even longer than it looks. We're getting two cheese and eggs. I can already tell I'm gonna like this. Yeah. There's always these uh, deep, no, not deep fried, um, Dehydrated. Dehydrated strawberries all over the place too. It's like a big thing here. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, it's pretty good. It's like candy. So just down the street from the, the pancake place, there's a little park that we're going to chill and, and try these out. But I um, figured I might as well get on it now. Yeah, we need to find a quiet spot because it is starting to get busier. It's like a flaky pastry with eggs and cheese. It looks evil. I know I'm going to like it. Mine is boiling. Yeah. You know what it reminds me of is like those uh, parathas. 
in India, yep. like the flaky pastry. Yeah, like soft flaky yeah. pancake, thick though. Oh. Mm. And that was 50 um, NTDs. Taiwanese so, uh, new dollars. Just over three bucks. Canadian. Canadian, yeah. So we just got off the last stop of the red line uh, on our way to the Elephant Trail. Elephant Mountain. Elephant yeah. Mountain. Uh, and there's some type of shrine right here that, uh, oh, there we go. There's a better shot from here. There's like some it's dragons like at the top. They're burning incense in there as well. Yeah, the random things you find yeah. while walking park. to your destination. These guys are ready for Chinese New Year, eh? Yes. Oh my God, they're so cute. They're so, oh, he's smiling, he's smiling. Look at this guy. <laughs> How amazing. Look at the other one too, Ryan. Oh, that's a funny face. And number two. I just came around the corner, found this building. It's pretty, uh, pretty authentic. It's beautiful. Look at all the detail. Oh, and Ryan, we found you some coffee. I saw that. And tea. Okay. All right, so we made it to the entrance of uh, the hike. This is the sign. Um, and then there's this random set of stairs that go up. Uh, and apparently it's about a 20 minute hike up. So the stairway up is an infinite number of stairs, super tiny. So it's not like a full stair. It's like a quarter of a stair. And it's maybe 20 minutes because there's a... A zillion people. Yeah. I feel like we're getting close to the top. A lot of people are coming down. It does keep going. So we made it to some type of viewpoint. Very because busy spot. That was not close to the top. We still have to keep going up. Oh, and you can see uh, that famous building, Taipei 101. Very busy trail, all the way up and down. And then randomly, there's like these little platforms. That's a cool, uh, cool view. Once you get to the top, if you haven't done, you don't feel like you got your workout in, um, there's yeah. a gym, some pull-up bars, uh, free weights, and then there's uh, some curl, curl bars right here, because after all you only worked out your legs going up, so you need to even it out. <clears throat> Alright, so it looks like we made it back to the bottom. Quite the, uh, quite the rip there. That was a calf workout and yeah. a half, and I think every family in Taipei is here today. Yeah, and every type of step I've ever experienced like, has been on this, that. Anywhere this from high, then super this high, high, from flat, long steps to insanely steep, yeah. straight up. Yeah, there yeah. must be some epic bales there. People uh -oh. losing their front teeth. Yeah, and people are like, 85 year olds i think we saw like two year olds babies people can't handle the steps people trying to fly past you we did it and uh <laughs> we did it so we'll, we'll leave it at that yeah <laughs> so we just got out of the uh the metro we're going to the longshan temple right here uh it's just a sight right now. There's a massive crowd, the balloons. There's something going on over here. Gotta go see that. Maybe a show. 
It's a, a pretty cool entrance though to check it out, but lots going on here of uh, people everywhere. The balloon people are... Every kind of balloon a kid could want here. The waterfall over there. Um, there's dragons oh, wow. spewing. Well, let's go see the waterfall. Over there. All right. You gotta like force our way over there. Oh, this is nice. Oh, pretty cool. Oh. by far my favorite place I think in Taipei. I, I wish we knew more about it. Say uh, there's a lot going on here. There's like all these in each corner of the temple there's something whether it's a fountain, a waterfall, um, koi fish swimming around everywhere. Um, there's dragons. So we're just crossing the street from the uh, Longshan Temple and there's this uh, Taipei Lunar New Year Festival uh, event going on. It's very busy. It looks like uh, lots of street food, a market of some sort. Uh, it's like everyone seems to be flooding over here uh, and it's packed. Yeah, we're so, so, we're so, we're so lucky. Yeah. Look at these, uh, these balls here. Look at, yeah. What are those? Mung bean, strawberry, taro, honeydew, melon. If they're frozen or what? There seems to be a lot of fish, grilled squid. Uh, this looks like a mango milk drinks of some sort. Some like sit down restaurants, lots of uh, those are interesting. Oh, those are purple. Those are sweet potato balls. Yeah, uh, that's why the purple sweet potatoes. <clears throat> you get coconuts, some type of drink over here. Every, every stall is packed. Well, those are some, uh, maybe similar to the pancakes that we had earlier. This is uh, tempura. A big lineup. Food? Yeah, how long you hang a left there? It seems okay. to be a, still busy, but a little less busy than way over there. Okay, we're going back down the busy section. Looking for uh, something to fill me up here. Hello, how are you doing? Happy Chinese New Year. Hi. <laughs> what kind, what type what of, kind uh, do you want to try? Well, I don't like what's the. I'm assuming you get a oh the different powder. Yeah, like plum powder. Maybe chocolate or chocolate, peanut, peanut plum could be interesting. So it looks like you get a bag of them. These are actually hollow. Like it's not like a. They were 50 um, 
NTDs for a bag. It's like a shell. See how... Oh, there's nothing in there. No, it's there's nothing. Um, but there is a little rubbery part in it. <laughs> it's odd. They were pretty odd, for sure. It's not Worth bad. It, it out. It's just different. It's okay. We'll put it in the okay pile. All right. Other random old school games here. So we just ordered, um, I don't know, I'm going to call it a sushi ice cream. It's uh, kind of like a pancake and then they shave some peanuts. And then they put some ice cream in the middle. And I think they roll it up and they put some cilantro in it. Did you get one with cilantro in it? Yeah. Um, that's going to be interesting. <laughs> pretty random, I know. But it's definitely an odd mix. The, the shell is super chewy and then there's it's cold and there's peanut shavings mixed with cilantro. It's odd, eh? <laughs> it's not bad. It's just a... Um, we've never tried those things mix together and then the cilantro kicks in. I feel like I'm eating a, a taco with cilantro yeah. but it's supposed to be a dessert. And it's, it's ice cold. So. It's not bad. And it's then, odd. Yeah, the peanut odd. the peanut shavings is, is really strong. And I have coffee and tea here in this uh, random street corner. Maybe these guys will, will mind if we join us, or we let us, we, we join them. We found some, some new friends here. Yeah. I think this is the tea here. Oh. Whoa. This is uh, turning out to be a pretty awesome day, isn't it? Oh. It's crazy how some places are, it's like calm and chill, and then some places are just like crazy hectic and... Uh, yeah. Uh, just like hot. But. It, it was such a great find. Like I mean, we had we had a plan, but all of these things are definitely not part of the plan. And they, they're turning out to being the best part of it. Oh yeah, definitely. So uh, Longshan Temple is uh, probably the coolest part so far this morning. I think. Yeah. Okay, so we had a massive day yesterday. We took it easy. The plan for today is the Shillin Night Market and it looks absolutely crazy. It's madness. There's so many people. I'm not sure how long we'll stay here. Um, and then we're going to try and do the, uh, the Lantern Festival. Let's but first, we need to eat something for dinner. I, don't know. I think half of these are lineups to go to certain stands because uh, they're so popular. There's a really strong smell. Like, it's. Do you. Is this the stinky tofu? Oh, maybe that's. Could that be it? Because the smell is very strong. Uh, tofu? All, all tofu? Just one piece. So it's fermented. Oh, it's fermented tofu, eh? That's what the smell is like, is from, right? I kind of forget, to be honest. I can't believe you're going to try this. I don't even know how to eat it. I don't know if you pull it apart or, yeah, it's stuck together. It doesn't smell that bad up close, but... 
It's not as bad as like the smell that's in the air. But there's also cabbage, and they, she put on like a like a spicy powder. Mm. So it's actually all right. So there's some type of uh, I don't know what they are like a breaded uh, a pancake. Yeah, I don't know if they're sweet or. So we're rolling them. I don't know if he's stuffing them for something. I have one. Thank you. Is there something in the middle? No. So it's just uh. It's, it's like dough. you know what it tastes like. Um, like pie, pie crust. Yeah. You know when you're a kid and you steal the pie crust? That's what it tastes like. It's actually good. Street. It's not really the way I thought it was going to be. I kind of expect... Yeah, see, this is more what yeah. I thought it would be. I was thinking I was surprised like, that there were cars yeah, I was uh, thinking all around and you had to walk along the road. But yeah. this makes more sense. And this is jam-packed. Well, these are the, uh, the fish I, cookies. We've had those in Japan. Remember they oh, had like... Oh, the cheese a, in them. Yeah. And they're in the shape of a fish. But they have like a, a white cheese heated up in between. So we're out of the food section now, more, uh, it's more clothes and you get hots. That's a random like anime clothes. So we're in an arcade. There's some arcades everywhere. But what I find funny is that you're trying to win a bag of Doritos. So it's two ninety. What is that? How much is that like? Uh, a little more than two bucks. So, but you might lose. You so could just go buy a bag of Doritos. You can win <laughs> a, a bottle, bottle of water, water, water yeah. cookies. But you might actually not get one. Yeah. So. Yeah. See. You could have just uh, maybe swim and bought a can at the store. I guess we're we're probably missing the point. Uh, it's about the game, not about the prize. A yeah. pudding. Yeah. Hey, this is pretty big. Hey, eh? look how far it goes. Uh, it's definitely like a couple kilometers. An interesting um, cultural thing here is that couples tend to coordinate outfits. Like, you've noticed that, eh, Ryan? Oh, There's been some monkey outfits that were yeah. definitely set up before they left the house. A bunch of these different alleys that all have, like, uh, random lights hanging from, uh, from the top are pretty cool. Hi. Can I have one? Mango. Mango, yes. Oh, do you want some powder? Plum powder, licorice, sugar, spicy salt. I don't think we want any, eh? Maybe sugar. Sugar? Maybe sugar? Okay. A little bit? Oh, wow. That's a lot. Yeah. Thank you. There's like a heavy dousing of sugar on here. It's a green mango. Probably last time you have the green mango or what? It's like sugary cucumbers. It's good though. It's good. Do you want to try? Sure. We didn't know what these kids are doing, but you catch your own fish or shrimp uh, and then you give it to the guy and I guess he cooks it for you. So then you can eat it after. This place is like a fair. Yeah, it is. I like a fair. Like it's crazy yeah, how packed it is. How many games there are, and food, and yeah. Uh, so we made it to uh, the Zimending uh, Pedestrian Market. There's supposed to be a lantern festival here. It's packed, like crazy packed. Um, and they describe lots of cool lights and sorry. 
I was just going to say they described this area as the Shinjuku of Tokyo and I'll agree it's very there's some similarities for sure um, let's take a moment here for this with Taiwan's the number one souvenir So the light display here is next level. Check out how cool this is. It's pretty amazing. And the whole neighborhood has tons of cool light features like this. So unfortunately we didn't find any big uh, lanterns for tonight, but this place is really cool. It's all lit up. So we're going to walk around and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>